Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim, where today we're going to get on with the Thieves Guild quest, which we're going to do as soon as I've figured out what's on top of this hill in that watchtower, because there's a watchtower and there's a path over there, and I want to know what's on top of it. So we're just doing that first, then we're going to do the Thieves Guild. Also, because I noticed there was a whole bunch of, like, crabs or spiders or something over there, and that's good, because that's nice, easy souls for me. So, in you come to more lords. And bound sword out as well, please. Now, don't don't kill them too quickly. Not too quickly. Not too... There we go. Got a hit in. Thank you. There we go. One soul for me. Right. Ignore that. We're going over this way. Oh, you've just got your stupid hammer. We need to get rid of that because it's actually not as good as the hammer I've made for you. It's got more like base damage, but yeah, I'd rather have the extra fire damage than the stamina absorption because I've been watching Benor, and to me, it doesn't look like he's getting in like loads more attacks than he was already. Because if he's getting in loads more power attacks, I'd say that was a fine thing, but oh, don't you do that. Like, everyone in, everyone in, everyone in, and soul. Good, good. And souls all are flipping round. All of this. Oh, there's loads of stuff. There's loads of stuff. Oh, is it bandits? It's bandits up there. Oh, it's bandits. Guys, we've got all the bandits in the flipping world. Right, okay. Good, good, good. I think the Black Star is currently empty, right? We've discovered Faldar's Tooth. That's fine. We can crack our way in here. Good news, guys. I'm a competent lockpick. Do 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 And now there's a monstrosity from hell in the middle of your castle. Oh, actually, there's less people here than I was expecting. I was expecting, like, loads of people to, to be here, but, but they're not. So, oh, no, no, there's someone around here. Oh, there's still the dragon over there. I think that's the same dragon from murder I just haven't bothered dealing with yet. Right, ignore that for now. Just head up top to the top of Faldar's tooth. Hopefully we'll find some... Ooh, I think they're all up there. Give them the... Wait, give them what? Give them the dogs. Give them to the dogs. Are they going to be dogs? Found a marauder. Oh, okay. I think I found the marauder. I think he's behind me, actually. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Jump. Oh, I found the dogs. They're all down. Okay, I feel like those dogs aren't going to help much, to be perfectly honest. Right, um... Where's that bloody marauder gone? Also, there's a dragon over there still. Is he up there somewhere? He might have had a bow up top. Right, let's go deal with the dogs first, because I feel like... Okay, fine. He's gone to deal with the dogs. I feel like he's going to be able to handle that, to be perfectly honest. Jazz. Yes. Oh, never mind. He timed out at the stupidest time. There you go. In comes a new one. Where the bloody hell's Ben on, by the way? He should really have joined up with us by now, but it kind of seems like he... He just hasn't. Has anyone seen Ben or? Oh, there he is. I found someone. I found someone over here. Right, okay. Let's just get a nice Dremora Lord. There. Now, who are you? Are you the Marauder? Yeah, you're the Marauder. Good. So, if Benno was here, this would be nice. Now, now just get around the back of you. Do a bit of solely damage. Lovely. Hopefully, Dramora can handle this. Or if not, we'll do enough damage to... There we go. Got your soul back inside the Black Star. Good, good. Let's go down to the bottom and see if we can actually locate flipping Benno. Because he's probably got himself somewhere. Oh, there he is! Oh, wait, no, that's not Ben or that's just someone dressed like Ben or Right, Dramora Lord, save me! Save me, Dramora Lord! Dramora Lord, faster! There we go, the Dramora Lord is now dealing with that guy. Good. I don't know where. Oh, there's. Wait, is that Ben or Ben or You. No, that's just another Marauder. Oh, that's not good either. Where the. Oh, dear. Where'd bloody Ben or go? Right, now this time, let's not go in the back way, because it confuses the hell out of Benor. Instead, just run around that there archer. Actually, hang on. Archer, archer. Oh, the archer's managed to just fall down, kind of off his entire defensive position. So that's fine. Uh, oh, no, you've already got this. That's okay. That's fine. Let's just get his soul. There we go. I've just summoned a new one of you. And there's your soul captured forever. Lovely. Now, Benor. Benor, Benor, Benor. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, no. Oh, no, that was he. I didn't mean to have he on. I thought I had unrelenting force on. Never mind. Right, quickly heal up here. Ben, or don't get stuck over there. All right? We don't want you stuck over there. We need to go around to the front. Oh, we got one bandit marauder's attention. And Ben, or is... Ben, or is that you over there? Ben, or... That's not where you should be. There are more important problems right now than, like, one flipping... What have you even got over there? What was that? Oh, that was just one marauder that came down, was it? All right, fine. That's that's relatively important. That's acceptable. There's another one, by the way. There's actually another one, like, right somewhere around here. I think there was actually an arrow that hit me. You killed that guy. We still got an archer up top. I suspect we do. Right. Get my health back 
in a hurry. I wonder if I can actually get... Oh, yeah. They've got multiple people firing at me up top there. Hang on. Let's see if I can actually get them both down with a great big shout. That'd be hilarious. Right. Round, 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 round. Up top, up top. Come on. Scurry mid over. Yep, there we are. Okay, now now we're over here. Now just hold on for one second. Who's broken? Ah, it was kind of taking each other out there. Oh, I think the chief just ran past there. Hang on, just need to get up to the top. I'm just working my way side to side. I'll slowly but surely get up top here. There we are. Just need to... This is obviously the best way to get into... Yep, we're clearly going up there. Just keep hitting that jump. But there we go. Now, guys, I've got a surprise for you. It's a... Where did that just appear? No. There. Now I'm probably going to get away from here because you guys are pretty tough. Right. Now, back down here, meanwhile. Ah, Benor's taking on the bandit chief. How are you doing? Oh, you're not doing great. Right, okay. Don't worry. I will support you, Benor. We got this. Right, and boom. And boom. And I don't have enough magic. But Benor's, Benor's okay now for a bit. Oh, yeah, now Benor's fine. Lovely. Right, this guy seems really tough. He's actually beating Benor. So, time to break out the big guns. It's time for chill rend, damn it. Also, ice form. So, here we go. Yep, there you go. Now, let's just... Oh, oh my. Oh, that does a lot of damage and paralyzes you an awful lot too. Oh, yeah. Chill rend. Oh, chill rend's ridiculous. Okay, chill rend is ridiculously good. <laughs> That's pretty damn amazing, actually. Yeah, that's a really damn good weapon. That did ridiculous damage. Right, Benor, round we go. Let's get in here. But don't use it too much, because, yeah, it really does get through really quickly. Oh, there's wolves here. Let's just quickly get these guys out here. Who are you exactly? One thug. I think we can handle that. Screw you. Sorry, Benor. Right, by now, the Dremora Lord's probably dead. But on the plus side, I... Oh, blimey! Benor, there's some really, really nasty archers in there. Would you mind just dealing with that while I just quickly close my wounds? Uh, oh, yeah. Full health on one, double-charged one there. Very, very nice indeed. Actually, you know what? They're up top. This is actually a good opportunity for Stormy. I like how they've all got different purposes. Like, I haven't just retired one because there's another one. Like, Stormy is still powerful at range. You can do his lightning clap. Which is really bloody useful. Whereas, you know, the Dramor is good in like a straight up damage fight. But I think Frosty is actually still pretty good on the tanky. And also for staggering. So staggering things pretty good. Now, where are you up there? Ben, or this is probably a good chance for us to actually push forward. Yeah, let's get forward, Ben. Or let's do this. Also, there's a door here. Ooh, that's inside. Is it? Okay, fine. Right, you guys just... Oh, is there literally no way up here? I think there's literally no way up from here. Okay, fine. We need to go in like the back way. Oh, we need to work our way. Ooh. Hello. That was dramatic. Right, in we go. Let's just work our way up this way. It seems better. Oh, we're straight into flipping attack here. Okay, who's going for... No, no, no. I can't even see what's going on. It's too dark. Prepare to activate candlelight. There we go. Now I can see what's going on. Right, you were just guarding the door. Now we're actually going down, not up. All right, then fine. Oh, yeah, now it's just flipping all marauders all the time. These guys are seriously... Seriously, on the tough side, yeah. Even with my stuff. Oh, nice though. Nice, 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 nice. Right, lovely. Keep on keeping on here. Down we go. Kind of accidentally. Oh, that's another flipping marauder. Ben, or you need to kind of be like, you know, constantly on the move here. Let's just get some more stuff in here. More support. Conjuration up to 70. Bloody eight. Wow. Uh, right, you're at this point now badly, badly surrounded from all sides. So you're now screwed. Ooh! I think he went into space. So, stumbled across prison here. But no actual prisoners or anything. So just keep on keeping on. Oh, convenient oil-filled room. Okay, there's never a convenient oil-filled room when there isn't someone who could, you know, walk on said oil. Also, I'm suspicious of the fact that all these cages right now aren't open. But I feel like they could be right. In comes a marauder. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Ben or don't. Benor, Benor, we could have just, we could have just lured her onto the fire and then taken care of her. But you know what? That's, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just get behind her. She's apparently vaguely magic -y. So, magic, 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 magic. No, no, don't let her get away. Excuse me. Oh, she's trying to heal. Oh, that's not going to work for you. <laughs> There's way too much damage here for that. 
Ah, but she was trying to bring back wolves as... Oh! Okay. Watch out for that. That's bad. Is there anything... Oh, no, no, no! Don't the... Don't do that! Don't just walk on the... Fine, walk on the trap, whatever. Just activate the lever. Activate the chest. All that for 64 bloody gold. Yeah, all right, fine, whatever. Right, well, I may as well get all the wolves while I'm passing by. Because one, lockpicking experience. And two, one-handed. And three, souls. Anytime there's wolves around, just make sure you get all of them. Because, yeah, the soul gems are useful just for keeping my own weapons charged up. As I'm so dependent on... Oh, hello. I'll actually know Benno, Benno, Benno. Stay back. Wait, where's Benno? Benno? Be that, okay, no, 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 no. Stay there for just a second. I've got a plan, Benno. Whenever there's humans standing next to each other, I can never flipping resist, all right? Let's activate that frenzy. And boom! And now, no, there's not someone there. Benno, don't run ahead, don't run ahead, don't run ahead, don't run ahead, don't run ahead. And now they're going to go for each other. Beautiful. Ah, as it turns out, one was a bandit marauder, one was an outlaw. Not exactly a fair fight. In that case, let's just get a monstrosity from hell up ahead. Uh, Benno, you can now officially join in. Benno, whenever you're ready. There you go. So, yeah, pit fight's going on down here. Very, very nice indeed. So now we've just got this guy stuck in a corner. He's just one marauder. That's your lot. Lovely. While you're doing that, I'll just quickly loot their little area here. Ooh, master. So I've not got a key by any chance. Don't really want to be kind of, you know, wasting the lock picks on getting in here for one. Is it a nice chest? It is one of the nice chests. All right, fine. I'll just gather up this gold. Then we'll do it. There we go. Took about five or six lock picks there. So it's just the baby worth it. 53. Minor health is valuable enough. Ebony battle axe. Devouring. 22 weight to 2,000. Um, yeah, that's that's worth taking. I'll hand that over to Ben or for us to sell at some point. And actually, there's quite a bit of money back here just through all the various coin purses as well. That's nice. Actually, is this a dead end? Because, yeah, the stairs up here are blocked off. We've got to where the wolves actually fight and the marauder and whatever. Huh. I think that actually might be a... Oh, no, no, no good. There's a door this side too. Beautiful. We can keep on going. Ooh, down into water. Now, what is going on here? Just storeroom and where the wolves go after they die. Random things. I've just picked up a illness. Well, that's fine. I carry around loads of cure disease potions just in case anyway. Now, pull bar here. Opens up the door. Beautiful. Crack on. This is actually quite a big little area. We haven't even cleared out the exterior yet. Also, I can't remember which one a taxi is. Hang on. What's the negative effect I'm under right now? It is... Uh, Reduce lockpick and pickpocketing. You know what? I'll wait till I get back to a bloody shrine. Just don't forget I'm actually infected by that. Because I think the Thieves Guild might mind. It is kind of their thing after all. Marauder showed up. I brought in a Dramora to help out. The Dramora's run ahead. So I think he's just gone and triggered out the next few people as well. Now, do I actually have a soul in this universe yet? No. No, sadly, I don't have a soul gem big enough. I've already filled up the Black Star. Well, that's fine. The Dramora's run ahead. Uh, I honor my lord by destroying you. Oh, thank you. That's very bloody kind. Who are you, by the way? Oh, it's another Marauder. You've just got a really fancy helmet on, otherwise really crappy armor. Well, that's fine. Finish you off. There you go. And the Marauder's never bloody end. Oh, you've got ebony arrows. Ebony arrows and a dagger. Because, obviously. Right, get another hitting on him. Another hit in. Lovely. And down he goes. Beautiful. Well done, everyone. Cutting our way through these bandits very nicely indeed. Oh, guys, there's one basic bandit over there. Oh, but one more marauder, damn it. Let's just quickly... Sorry, Benno! Right, let's just get Benno up out of the ice. There we go. And now probably get another Dramora in as well. How about uh, we deal with this guy now? Right, everyone just start hitting him for a bit. Yeah, that's right. Everyone just hit this guy for a bit. Lovely. He was frozen. Good, good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go take care of this bandit. I can handle this bandit myself. Where'd you go? Okay, unless she runs off, then I can't. Did someone else... Wait, where did she go? Did anyone... I think they killed her for me. Okay, I tried to do something for myself. Ben was trying to help, uh, but every time he runs over, he keeps triggering that bloody trap. Ben or... Come on, seriously. Figure this out here. That's right. No. That's okay. Yeah, there we are. Now, don't 
Don't run into the same button again. Well done, Benor. Well done. Now, hang on. I think he still needs a bit of healing. There we go. That should be him nice and healthy. Lovely. Well done, Benor. Conjuration up to 79. Leveled up as well. Level 40, in fact. Very nice. Jamal Lord heads in here. Get around the back of the Marauder. Oh, yeah. I'm doing loads of good damage. You know what, game? Bring on the... Wait, what's above Marauder? Is it Plunderer or is it Plunderer below Marauder? I can't remember. Whatever. It feels like these days we can actually handle the Marauders pretty nicely. And I'll tell you what, I do like it when you come across bandit settlements. They're like proper little towns where they've got separate bathroom areas with books by the toilets and their own little kind of, you know, smithy underground with a proper forge and all sorts of ore and stuff. Yeah, I do like that. And finally, we get back to, I think, where we started. We saw this door as we came in. But now, we can head up to the upper level, which I could have done all... Oh, dear. Which I could have done all along if I'd just like... Guys, by the way, Ben, oh, there's, there's rocks. You okay with the rocks? Yeah, the rocks don't bother you. Which, if I'd just kind of done that adept lock picking at the bottom, I could have skipped all of this. But that's fine. This was cool and fun. Oh, is this your torture chamber? Ooh, you've got your own torture chamber and everything. Very fancy. Yeah, prisoners kept here. All that good stuff. And now we're, yeah, we're literally right next to where that door that led outside was. If I'd have just done the adept's lock, I could have just got here straight away. Marvellous. Actually, I think I've already killed, like, most of the people in this bit of the world now. And Ben or is actually inside. So we won't get, like, lost or confused anymore. That's good. And that dragon is still just doing the rounds over there. So hopefully the orcs will take care of it for me at some point. Because, you know, sooner or later, these guys have got to defend themselves, right? I can't just, like, you know, constantly do everything for them. And, ah, we've got a key up here. Good. That'll be bloody useful. Clearly got someone up top there. So let's need to find a way to get... How to get up top. Okay, hang on. How do we get up top? Um... Right. Well, there was a... No, there was a door around the other side, wasn't there? Yeah, there was a door on the other side. I think it was expert locked, but I'm guessing that key lets me bypass that anyway. So if I go around to there, that'll let me get up to here. Oh, I like this area. This is nice and big and meaty. I'm glad we diverted here briefly. Yeah, this right here. This will probably be the one. Yeah, nice. Actually, no, this is... Oh, no, it is. It is, it is, it is. I also got a chest here as well. The problem is, I think we already killed the bandit chief while he was outside. So I'm not really sure what the game's gonna have, like, you know... Left for us. Uh, actually, wait, no, this is... This is nothing up here. Hang on, if this is... Wait, where's the rest of it? Where's the rest of... Oh, no, it's over there. It's over there. It's fine. Don't worry, it's good. Right, okay, now hang on. Hang on. Sneaky. 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 There might just be one per... If there's only one person up there, then... Ooh. Ooh, hang on. Hang on. We might have that. Okay, Ben or... Ben or... Ben or... Ben or... Ben or... Ben no, Ben or... Ben or... No, don't... Ben or... Hold still. still. I've got a plan. I'm going to be awesome. Okay? I think it might just be one guy up there. In which case, prepare. Ebony dagger. And muffle. Activate muffle. Muffles. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, muffly. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. And now third person camera. Third person camera. Okay, also, giant ball of light. I can see how that might work against me, yes. Okay, where's the guy? I know there's someone up here. I literally saw you earlier. Unless you came down or something, but I don't think you did. I don't think you did at all. Special boots. Nords. Ooh, scaled boots of hauling. Yeah, I'll grab them, sure. I also have your stuff. Ooh, black soul gem. Ooh, okay. And a very valuable necklace as well. Yeah, this is all good stuff. So, weirdly, yeah, we've, um, we've lost why Shundra was going to be the final boss up here. Because I swear there was actually a thing. Hang on, just no, jump, jump over the top there. That's, ooh, is that lock picking up as well? Nice, light lock picking going up. You don't see a way to get any higher. Um, so I guess that's... That's it. This is where the final guy lived and he's wandered off or got bored or something. I'm not sure. All right, fine. I swear there was a, a guy who went red up here, but never mind. I, I guess we've already killed him or he fell off or something. Never mind, Ben, or I suspect we're dumb. And with that done, yep, we visited everything nearby here. There's no more to do in this area. That's just a farm. We don't need to bother with a the farm. They just want to pay me for picking potatoes or Honestly, I'm a little bit beyond potatoes at this point. Also, that dragon will be there forever, never mind. Right, following morning, back here in 
Was that a big shadow? Was that a... No, I thought I saw a big terrifying shadow there, but it's fine. Uh, right. First things first, let's sell some stuff. You know, there is actually an argument for letting Benor keep the ebony great sword of devouring. Like, under certain circumstances, him, with a great sword, I can genuinely see the advantage in, yeah, 15 points of health a go. That's actually pretty good, but then he doesn't attack that often. I'd rather have him with the ridiculous amount of damage where he's doubling his damage, because, yeah, 24 plus 15 back to him... Versus just straight up 52 a go. I'd rather have him have that. Yeah, we're just going to sell this. So, a bit of buying, selling, crafting, trading, diddly diddly d. However, you may notice I'm a little bit on the uh, bare foot and bare wrist at the moment. Time for an upgrade, I'd say, while we're passing by Dragon's Reach. So, here we go over here. Now, actually, leveling up. What does leveling up get me at this point? Probably a little bit more on the health front. That's probably a good idea at this point. Don't need to level up enchanting any further. That's already maxed out. Skill enchantments on armor 25% stronger. Ooh. That's maybe worth thinking about. You know what? I'm just curious how ridiculous this can get at this point. I'm going to go for it. So, let's take that. <laughs> let's take that right now. And also, let's just quickly do a potion as well. Uh, we totally have something for this. Yep, yeah, there we are. Another 15% stronger for 60 seconds. That's what I want to see. So, over to the enchanter. Now, the reason I'm doing all of this is because I want some scaled bracers. I want this to be my new enchantment for... Uh, actually, no, just... Uh, no, no, don't quit enchanting. Soul gem. Uh, use the black star, because that's a freebie we can reuse. And I just want to fortify one-handed, and that does 43% more damage! Bloody hell, yes! Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And new glass boots. Couldn't find scaled boots, unfortunately. I was looking for them. And black soul gem. Yeah, let's put my enemies into this thing. Fortify one-handed. 43%. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's ridiculous on toast. And now we're up to... Oh, we're getting quite close to the next level as well. Beautiful. Well, you know what? Sure, why not, eh? Now, the thing about that is, if I can make armor that ridiculously powerful, and yeah, by the way, we're definitely putting these on straight away, so these beautiful scale braces, that's ridiculous. That's so much. That's just plain stupid. I didn't know it could even... I assumed it would be capped lower than that. I assumed I was going to, like, hit the cap. But no, 43% more damage on my hands and feet. Like, doubling the damage output near enough, damn it. Like, at this point, Archmage Robes, Magic Regeneration 100% and all spells are 15% less to cast with no armor. Like, I'm pretty suspicious that if I just basically got myself just a normal bit of light armor, that I could improve a bit more, get myself a bit more armor rating, I could probably make something that, like... Okay, I couldn't get both those effects. Well, not yet until I get um, enchanting up to 100, but... I could, just in theory, get Magicka Regeneration almost certainly significantly higher than that. And as for the Mask, yeah, the Mask is giving me another 100% on Magicka Regeneration, but also giving me the Shouts thing. Um, if you don't see that, by the way, that was added in by, like, one of the unofficial Skyrim Fix mods. Honestly, I don't know why. Maybe they felt the Mask was underpowered with just 100% uh, Magicka Regeneration, so I don't know. Honestly, I don't really approve of it, because I don't like, like, changes that change the balance of the game, but... Never mind, it's here now. But yeah, I might consider just actually changing out. I feel like, actually, I can probably do better than the flipping mages, archmages, gear, and morake and whatever. Yeah, that's worth thinking about, damn it. And bloody conveniently, Shrine of Talos, get rid of that illness. Lovely. Now, finally, over to the Bannered Mare to go and speak to someone and kick off this bloody quest. Can't remember whether I'm spying on someone or... No, I have no clue. Hopefully, I'll figure it out when I'm speaking to them. So, whoever it is, they're through here. Ah, conveniently out of the way for a private conversation. Hello there, who are you and why am I speaking to you again? Can't a man drink in peace? No, Maven said, ah, good. This is our agent on the ground. Good, good. I'm going to keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. All right. Interesting that my follow-up question is you have the poison versus, whoa, 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 I didn't actually sign up for murder. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. You know what I mean? 
All right, intriguing. You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Um, potentially am I going to kill a lot more people than just the captain of the guard here? Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Okay, fine. So, this all seems nice and simple. And, hmm. Yeah, actually, how do I get to the brewing vats? That might be useful to know. Both of the buildings are connected by tunnels made by the pests infesting the meadery. There's an entrance to it in the basement storeroom of the warehouse that used to be boarded over. I've already removed the boards so the meadery would get infested. That's where you should start. Okay, go in, head through the tunnel, but could I just go in through the brewery? Sabjorn keeps that locked up tight. If you can get through that way, go right ahead. Right, so we've actually got an option. If I've got good lock picking and I do, or rather, I've got high lock picking and I've got some special gear that makes it a bit easier, so uh, anything short of master, fact, actually master I can do pretty easily. Like, even if you don't take a single lock pick skill, it's pretty simple to do master locks with the number of lock picks the game throws at you. It just never struck me as properly balanced in Skyrim lock picking. There was just no point taking the perks. And, of course, we've walked straight past this meadery in the past. Lovely. So, head over here. So, my objective right now is head in here and head through the tunnel to get to this here side building. But, it did say if you can hack in here, no, requires a key, unfortunately, to get through to the boiler in. Unless there happens to be, like, a scan around for a back entrance. Doesn't strike me as likely, but no. No, you'd need a key, but... Okay, so I need to actually pickpocket the key off that guy if I wanted to get in directly, rather than the tunnels. But no offense, the tunnels sound fine. If it's just pests, that's probably just rats. We can just cut our way through those guys. Good afternoon, good sir. I, the Archmage of the College of Winterhold, was just passing by with my bodyguard and a demonic monstrosity from hell, and we couldn't help but notice your rat problem. Would you like us to solve it for you by any chance? I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the Captain of the Guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. Okay, well, as I say, I might be able to help as I was passing by so very bloody conveniently. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. Ooh, possibly. Maybe I'll be able to persuade you because I've got some good speech skills. Well, that's not how I operate, so forget it. Okay, you know what? If you'd paid me, maybe I'd have been nicer to you, but now it turns out you're a bit of a jerk, then I have no problem with poisoning every- Oh, that's- that's probably still evil. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant, Malice, handle it, but he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. Ah, so Malice is, yeah, a plant. From Maven. Okay, she's actually got people inside her competitor's organization. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. Alright, lovely. And yeah, tell me about this Malice guy. Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago. I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper. Ooh, okay, you're basically taking advantage of indentured servitude to create slaves. Yeah, I don't feel bad anymore. So these are just basic rats, so in which case, bound sword for infinite soul gems. Probably very, very useful indeed. Let's have a look around, though, because Maven said it was odd that they were able to get going so quickly. How is it he got hold of the money to actually bring this product to market so fast? Let's have a little loopsy round, see if we can find uh, anything of interest any notes or anything because yeah there might be more of a story here than i think we've got ourselves a locked door up here perfect oh never mind i've got the wait i don't have the key oh he just gave me the key probably it's just apparently it's the same lock on his bedroom as it is uh, elsewhere oh hang on game of dinner alchemy nice okay got myself a little bit more skill there now just check all his furniture don't rob him, though. Let's keep this nice and subtle and proper. But I would like to know what's going on here. Requires the key. Well, I've got the key. 
You just get, okay, fine, that's on a different key. It's just the door's all on the same key. That one's a different lock. Fine, whatever. Ah, this looks good. A little quiet back room here. Okay, strong box. Crack that open. Just seven gold and more gold and some silver necklaces. And, ooh, silver ingots. I'll make some jewelry with that. Yeah, uh, by the way, you should have paid me up front. Then maybe I wouldn't be doing this. However... No notes or incriminating evidence, clearly saying, Hey, I can't believe I stole all that money from the temple of something. And as a result, he could clearly see me through the floorboards. <laughs> this was not a subtle theft. Ah, but we've got a letter here from Maven. Sabion, this is my third and final offer. I feel a bit more than generous with the amounts I've stated to buy your meadery. There's no reason for competition to stifle both of our businesses. Unified, we can make Blackbriar Mead a household name and bury anyone else who tries to start a similar business in Skyrim. If you wish to accept my offer, please come to Riften. Stay at my manor as a guest. I think you'll find that being a part of the Blackbriar family will be both lucrative and life-saving. Okay, open threats. Blimey. But as far as I can tell, nothing else hit. Fine. Benor, back out of here, please. Let's just close up behind us. So we've robbed the guy blind. That's fine. We may need to return here later to do some further investigation. I suspect that may well be Maven's follow-up quest or something. Because, yeah, she did specifically raise something's weird here. Still, nothing else I can see here. Down into the basement we go. And zoop. Oh, these are special ones. These are special venom fag skeevers. Okay. And I've been poisoned, apparently. Oh. Quite badly poisoned as well, blimey. Okay, that lasts. Right, well, let's just get some healing going on here. May as well just go through here. Kill the rats, need to find the nest. Okay, head through this way. Locate the nest, poison it, then keep going through to the other building. This should all be fine, right? Yeah, you just basically come this way. Through you go, through you go. Ben was now heading ahead. Lovely, I'm now getting... Get a hit on. Did I get a hit on you? No, I didn't. Ben, oh, this is this is a bit of a narrow passageway for both of us, to be honest. And he's already dead. Well, that's fine. That seems to have worked out just okay. So, first things first, I would actually like to lay the poison down at the source. You know, I'll do the job and I'll get paid for it. I'll take money off him as well as everything else. It feels like we've got. Oh yeah, we got spiders in here as well as everything bloody else. Right, Ben, oh, in you go. There you go. Lovely. Just keep my healing going on there. And just... Oh, Benno's doing a really good job there. In you go. Go on, Benno. 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 Ben. Benno. Ben. Okay, fine. We'll do it this way then. That was the freezing thing, not the knocking him forward thing. But hopefully that will still get him forward, right? Yeah, there we go. It worked. I just needed to freeze him temporarily. Right. So now he's going for the giant spide there. Now just get in the room, please. Get in the room so I can get round the side of you. Yep, there we are. There's one soul. And this is a big spider. Ooh, stabbed right in the face. Lovely. Well, that's that taken care of too. I'm guessing we're going in the right direction as we're passing more and more evil things. Just deeper and deeper and deeper down. And now, yeah, we're presumably getting closer to the source. Yeah, the quest mark looks nice and close at this point. And then we... Ow! There was a... Wait, what? You said... Wait, what trap was that? You set up that for rats. They're just going to go under it. And restoration goes up from all the healing too. Marvellous. My incompetence is paying off. A few more rats to go down. Yep, but they're basic skeevers. Yep, souls captured. Like all souls. And... Oh, hello. Don't you see a thing over there? Something spawning them. Oh, there is someone down here. Hello. What's going on here quickly? Now, what is... What's all of this? Heal up. Ben, or there's a guy down here. There's a flipping rat king or something. Hang on, hang on. Don't kill him too quickly. I want to get his soul. Okay, that's what I want. I want his soul. Yeah, he's a flipping ice mage. Uh, but let's get his soul inside the thing. No, no, not... Oh, blimey. He's flipping nailed me in the face. Right, now let's just get around the side of this guy quickly. There we go. Nice and frozen. Let's just finish off everyone else quickly first. All right, lovely. Help myself to all his potions and whatever. Ebony sword out too. Make sure he doesn't go for me. Make sure he goes for Benor. Not me. He's going for Benor. Yeah, he's going for Benor. Now, how is this going to do? Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll do. That'll do. Also, he's just brought a 
flipping rat. Oh, no, I think it just spawns rats forever. Right, no, don't, don't let him do that. No, no. Down you go, please. I'll have your soul as well. Yeah, I think this thing just spawns rats forever. Uh, so let's just get some poison on it just to make sure it doesn't anymore. Activate the nest. Apply the poison. Job flipping. Du oh, wait, hang on. Does that mean I can't... Oh, do I still have the poison? Do I only have one lot of poison? Am I allowed to do both? Okay, I need to check that now. Sneak's gone up to 71. Lovely. Also, who the heck are you? Right, you've got a journal. Fine. What's going on here? 10 years of ridicule, 10 years of imprisonment, 10 years of exile. Right, what the hell is your story? Could a psychopath create a mighty army from the common skeever? Ah! This guy has indeed used a combination of magic and alchemy to convert skeevers into the Venom Fang skeevers. Got it. Yeah, he did actually plan to pretty much burn Skyrim down with rats. So, probably best we kill this guy. He does seem a little on the mad side, yes. Right, and as promised, we've managed to get over to the far side of this area. Good. Uh, except... Oh, right. What's the new quest marker at this point? No, it is still saying there is an option to poison the vat. So hopefully we can still do that. Yes, right now, sneaky. Any sign of it on? Actually, you know what? This is an excellent time for me to... Just quickly check. No. No security in here. Fine. Right, in which case, just need to get up top there. And put some poison in it. Beautiful. Right. Up to the top we go. Don't know why we're poisoning one but not the others. What happens if he just gets some meat out of this? Maybe this is the one that's ready to go. So up we go. Grab some stuff while I'm passing by. Brew a lid. Open up. And we have indeed apparently poisoned that because there was enough for both. Close it again. Make sure no one knows I was actually here. And that is your lot. Right. Out we go out the front door. And we also get paid for the job too. Except weirdly that requires a key. I thought I'd be able to, to get out from here, but... Okay, how do I get out then? Ah, right, there's a key right here. Beautiful, I was probably looking just at it right now. And perfect timing, I suspect the captain of the guard is in fact right here, together with Malice himself. So, I've done the job, sir. Was something we discussed unclear? Job's finished, so I'd better be getting paid here. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. Okay, and my pay, please? You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. Yeah, I really don't feel bad about this at all. Well, Sevjorn, now that you've taken care of your little pest problem, how about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead. Not some wine to be sipped and savoured. By the eight. What... What's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... See to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. <coughs> Please, I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. And off goes Commander Chaos, who fortunately appears to be not dying. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you. You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look. I assure you, this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move. Farewell, Savjorn. Okay, good. We haven't killed anyone. We've simply made that guy probably a bit sick. And also lost him his business. So, but he wasn't a nice man. He wasn't a particularly nice man. So, maybe I don't feel that bad about it. Right, Malice, job done, I'd say. Pretty neatly, really. I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? And I do indeed need to take a look at Sabjorn's books. Honestly, I already have, but maybe something new's appeared now. This is actually the main quest objective. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. 
Here, this should help. One step ahead of you, I already had a Luxy round. And you never mentioned the lunatic living in the tunnels. I thought it would be better to leave some of the details out of our previous discussion. Didn't want to risk you walking away from the job. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him, and saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Okay, and um, what's your plan for this place? Are you just gonna shut it down or start it producing mead that exactly matches Maven's or what? Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. If you're in the area and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Ah, so he'll actually buy uh, stolen goods at this point. Well, that's bloody convenient. I'm ever just passing by. Very, very nice indeed. Right, back up to the office where I suspect something new will have appeared. Ah, we did see this. Yeah, the dress that had its own unique key. Fine, so we couldn't actually ransack this before. And here we go. Some gold and a note. What do we have here? Sabjorn, within the enclosed crate, you'll find the final payment. As we discussed... Honingbrew Meadery should now begin brewing mead at full production. In regards to your concern about interference from Maven Blackbriar, I can assure you I'll do everything in my power to keep her assets and her cronies at bay. This is the beginning of a long and successful future for both of us, but no name. Although, that symbol. Don't recognise that symbol, but I'm guessing somebody will. Good, good, good. So, we... Well, we haven't actually identified the silent partner. We've just, like, got a letter... But alright, fine. Back to Maven. Maybe she'll be able to identify from the symbol. And while I'm thinking about it, all those bloody soul gems I've been picking up. My ebony sword needs a little bit of work. No need for any of this. I've just got... I have got all the soul gems in the world. Right, common soul gems. Ooh. Takes a fair bit of recharging, this thing. Well, that's fine. Common soul gems times that. And that's good. And the dagger's not used very often, so that's okay. May as well get the paralysis staff up as well. That is a useful little bit of kit on occasion. Yeah, Chillrend together with the paralysis staff. Yeah, if I ever get in real trouble, I've got some really powerful weapons to back things up with. Ah, and a lesser soul gem will actually do a huge amount to that. Good. So actually, you know what? Because I get so many soul gems in, I can actually keep that thing fully charged pretty easily, to be honest. So, back in good old Riften, and it would appear that, yes indeed, we have got uh, Maven still upstairs in her private quarters up there in the pub. So, Maven, job done pretty neatly and thoroughly, I would say. Sorry it took me, like, a couple of weeks. I trust you have good news for me? Job finished, here's the information. It's not perfect, but hopefully you recognise the symbol, because I sure don't. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Okay, I've seen- oh, have I? Have I seen that symbol before? Oh dear, the protagonist has a better memory than me. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. And I've got myself an elven sword of immobilizing. I would have preferred money, to be honest. I've already got, like, chill rent, which is like that, but better, but what have you, eh? This thing better at least be worth something. Actually, I will give you... That thing is actually, yeah... Flipping four seconds? That's quite a long time. You know what? Maybe I will keep that. Because, yeah, even chill rent, actually, that's more than I think I'm allowed to... To craft, because chill rent is... Two seconds. There's people telling me in the comments, like, it's not really about the length of time that someone's paralysed. It's more about the fact that, like, they fall to the ground, all kind of, like, frozen up and locked up with their joints, and then they have to get back up again. That's the real interesting bit. It's not really about how long they're paralysed. But that might be a nice thing to just hold on to, just in case. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. Four seconds. If I'm in real trouble, paralysis staff... This thing, chill rend. Yeah, but this thing in one hand, chill rend in the other. Great big flurry of double attacks. Yeah, that could potentially knock anyone down. Right, next job, return to Brinjolf. Let's finish off this nice little quest right now, because I suspect that'll be the end of that. And he will introduce what's coming up next. So into the super awesome badass secret lair. And yeah, I really hope that like my characters wouldn't say to Brinjolf, hey, I remember that symbol from... Because I don't know where it was. 
And Brinjolf today is actually in the training room. Marvellous. Right, Brinjolf, tell me what's going on. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. But very fortunate for the horrible, horrible person who manipulates this city from the shadows. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? Uh, possibly? No idea. Oh, apparently it was Golden Glow. Ah, the same, uh, yeah, the same symbol that was on the note of Golden Glow. Fine, I'd forgotten there was even a symbol there or what it looked like. Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth, and now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Okay, what do we do about that then, Brinjolf? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Alright, and that there is Dampened Spirits completed and Scoundrels fully kicked off. Beautiful. Time to go and speak to Mercer Fry. And I would say that's more than enough for now, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we're right here, so don't worry, we're not going to get distracted, we're not going to many a true nerd off or anything. We're going to speak straight to Mercer Fry and figure out what is coming up next with the Thieves Guild. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Oh no! Oh dear! America's decided they do not like us! Just want to finish off China. I can die happily. Well, not happily because there's nuclear fire involved, but moderately happily. There we go! I've just started... Oh god. The Earth was fun, wasn't it? We can all agree, the Earth was great.